You're in New York to uh, whinge away. Will you be reviewing some of the shows that you're seeing while you're in town? We already have. All right. Well, what have you what have you reviewed and what have you said about it? Um, Adam's family. Oh yes, tell me. I'm all ears. <laughs> what did What did you think? <laughs> <laughs> You've been very quiet about it, yeah. Michael. <laughs> That's right. You should have led with the other ones because you're not going to be interested in any of the other. No, now, no I'm just saying. Give me your West End Windsor review of the Adam's family. Well, it was a difficult one for us. Obviously. You know, it basically the book wags its tail and barks. You know, the, and um, <laughs> and the songs are anodyne and um, unworthy. Um, <laughs> but you know, it's Nathan Lane and BB Newworth up there on the stage. At the interval, I would have said, I mean, we, we don't do a star rating, we do a how many glasses of wine it is because we like to drink when we go to the theatre. Something which you I can't do in New York. You can't do that in New York. No, you fall asleep. There's no pleasure in going to the theatre here. The ushers are aggressive. They open the doors and tip you out onto the street the moment it's over. Anyway, and everybody gives everything a standing ovation. <laughs> so you felt. Anyway, sorry, yeah. yeah, yeah so, 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 so you felt yeah, like I would the have thought a three star maybe at the interval because it made us laugh enough, I think. Mm. You know, it was. It was was sort of raucous and vaudeville and kind of and BB and Nathan were you know give, giving making trying to make the best of bad material. Mm. Second half was just I thought it was dire. It was just bad number after bad number, and you could almost see them struggling with it. Mm. I felt. Yeah, yeah I, I think they're defeated. Sad. They're ultimately defeated yeah. by the material. Yeah, there's great people yeah. in it. Kevin yeah. Chamberlain yeah. as, as uh, Festers, terrific. Fantastic. Jackie and Hoffman. Jackie Hoffman and Lurch. And yeah. You Lurch haven't seen it yet, have you? Mark? I'm going to see it tonight. Yeah, well, we've really built it up for yeah. you. It must be <laughs> you <laughs> can't wait. But I, guess I often think that the law of negative expectation will now apply. Yeah. I hope that yeah. it will. Mm. That, that having been built up, that I'm going to expect a complete turkey. I'm actually not going to have such a bad time. Um, but I, you know, it Phil's face is like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I went with negative expectations because I'd read you. So, um, <laughs> on a press night, you, 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 you go in with, with well, you don't, nobody goes in with an open mind anymore, do they? I don't yeah. think that's the problem, is that thanks to the Western Winters, thanks to Talk and Broadway, we all have some preconceptions before we arrive. Yeah. Um, but obviously the critical uh, agenda hasn't been set yet on right. press night. Right. When you come after the event, as I've done now with Adam's family, um, I'm expecting you know, the worst. Yes. Well, <laughs> you're going to get it. Yes. <laughs> All right, what else have you guys been whinging about since you've been in New York? I saw Handing in Spokane. Spokane. We've been saying Spokane, yeah. Yeah. Spokane. The British pronunciation yeah. for just you. call it the Handing. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, Christopher Walken, did you, did you like Chris Walken? Uh, yeah, it, it was good. Um, it, was, we were, it was the day we arrived and we were really tired. Um, and <laughs> always an excuse. Jet lag is always an excuse. Uh, 90 know, minutes, no interval, so we thought we could cope with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like all the actors were in different plays. It was a bit weird. I don't know whether that's just because we were jet lagged, but it was like everybody was. One person was doing sitcom and one person was doing. Kind of mm. And you're feeling about it, Phil? Then. Yeah, I, I really. I mean, I do like Christopher Walken, um, but we had an idiot sitting behind us who, before the show, was saying, uh, "You don't call him Christopher Walken. You call him Chris Walken. Right? <laughs> right? You don't say Robert De Niro. Say Bobby De Niro." <laughs> and then he proceeded to comment all the way. <laughs> Yeah, get him. <laughs> yeah, kill him in the closet. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, if it hadn't been so entertaining, I would have punched it. Then, uh, yes, just, I would have given the evil eye. But yeah. Oh, yeah. I tried that. Oh, really? but it was just it normally was impervious works, works to your in look. London. Yeah. I was curious, um, before you came on tonight, we were in the, uh, we were in the green room, and um, Billy Joe Armstrong and Michael Mayer, who've done American Idiot, were here. And I introduced you to them. And I said, you really should see American Idiot. And you said, right to their faces, well, I don't think it's our kind of music. We wouldn't like it. Have you no filter? <laughs> no, no, it's just, I'm, I don't know. I think I'd blame jet lag if we hadn't been here for several days. <laughs> well, I thought it was well, any it's not fair. personal. It's not personal. No. Do you see everything? Do you want to have an opinion on everything that's going on in the theater, in the West End, or are you selective? We are selective. We try and go and see things we think we might like, but that doesn't always work. So you're really not driven by trying to draw attention to yourselves just by bashing everything? No. Oh, God, no. Oh, no, no, no. We, we don't. We would, we would, we go to the theater always hoping to enjoy it, mm. and if we enjoy it, we will say we enjoyed it. We're not bashing things for the sake of Did it. Did you go to It's Shrek? just that most of it's rubbish, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. It just is, isn't it? You know, you know how many, how many five-star shows do you see in a year, you know?
Yeah. Are there American <laughs> musicals that have come to London that you've seen? Yes. Like for, for Legally example. Blonde, for instance. Yes. Now, yes. I, you have to explain this to me. I never liked Legally Blonde. It was not a, it no? was not a success yeah. here. No. It's a big hit in London. Yeah. Why, why is this? It's actually the half-price booth every night. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, there, there's, a, there's an awful lot of hype around. around. I mean, the producer, not, of, it is, actually, the producer yeah. of it is a very clever person who, who's managed to, to hype it. Um, but, uh, um, it you know, and it did get very, very respectable notices in mm. London. Um, I mean, my, my colleagues don't, by and large, understand musicals, uh, is, the, is the simple truth. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Legally Blonde, you know, it's a big bubblegum piece of, piece of theatre. It's very light and insubstantial. Uh, I can see why it has an audience and it's extremely well done. But, but you know, it, it, it ain't Spring Awakening. So, um, thank heavens for yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was, it was funny. You guys have a prejudice lyric. against new cutting-edge musicals. <laughs> yeah, well, so what's wrong with old musicals? It's, it's, so why are you like pretentious, it? and they try too hard, and it's like people, it's the Emperor's New Clothes, people bend over backwards. And who cares about like teenage angst? Just, yeah. they, they just need a slap, Well, Legally Blonde's hardly but, geriatric. But, but, may I ask one thing? You told me you just saw Mickey Dolenz in Hairspray? Oh, we didn't see him. No, oh, he you was know, in it, but there. we didn't see All right, so you yeah, yeah, cut the whole yeah. thing. Right. Brilliant question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that in. <laughs> That's why they pay me the big bucks. Okay. <laughs> We've got to wrap it up. Have you had any awkward confrontational moments with some of the big powers in the theater who now know who you are and have been upset at something you've written? I wouldn't say that this person was a big power in the theater. So it has, who is the person? Oh yeah, no, we can't. No, we can't. Oh, well, what was the don't tell, tell us don't what, lift the lid off that. Okay, <laughs> tell us what happened though. Front. No, we can't really say. Well, well, yeah, we can. Yeah, no, it was a, it was a, 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 a designer, mm -hmm. a designer who took exception to um, our opinions and protested. Well, that's all we need to say about Physically? it. Physically? No, 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 no. But did you meet this person somewhere? Yes, I, I sent did. Andrew along. <laughs> I sort of held him as a shield, really, and cowered him in the corner. Yeah. So. Let me give you a little bit of advice. Being beaten up by people, very good career move. Oh, when really? David Laveau, the British <laughs> director, <laughs> punched me out because of Fiddler on the Roof, my name was everywhere. It was so was your face. So was my face. So don't shy, yeah, don't, don't shy away from it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to thank um, the West End Wingers. Thank Andrew you. and Phil, very powerful, dangerous, feared guys <laughs> <Yeah>. in the <laughs> West End. <laughs> and representing old media, uh, <laughs> our good friend Mark Shetton from the Sunday Express. Um, Andrew, Phil, and Mark, thanks for being our guest tonight on Theatre Talk. Thank you and very much. And I expect much. good you. whinging about this show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't you worry. This <laughs> week started. We welcome your questions or comments for Theatre Talk. Thank you and good night. <laughs>